boys. <laughs> Hey boys! Misha wanted to be sexy. Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Misha Grimes and um, it's currently midnight. It's 20 past midnight on Tuesday evening slash Wednesday morning and for some reason I am filming a Q&A. So I am in a very talky weird mood so I thought this would be the best idea. I'm also aware that my sister's asleep in a few rooms along that way so I can't be shouting. But anyway, this is just going to be a Q&A of questions that you guys asked me and I'm going to try and get through all of them and I'm going to try not to blabber and make this video 10,000 years long but we know I have an issue of doing that so I'm very sorry. Um, I'm quite literally just sat in my pyjamas. I've got my monkey, yes, I'm an 18 year old with a teddy that's a monkey. I've also got an elephant pillow. If you watch my vlogs, you would have seen these before. I would, of course, be 100% honest because, well, I can't be anything else. Like, I think we'll see from my channel. Like, I kind of say it as it is and I kind of say what I think. So, yeah, let's begin. Okay, I like this one. So this is one fact that no one knows. Now, literally, probably about 10 people on this planet know this. So you better keep this a secret. No, it's not really a big deal. So, back in... January. January 1st, Misha replied for first dates. Yeah, yeah, Misha replied. I don't know why, I just, I love that program and I really wanted to be on it. And yeah, I just, oh, I love it. Like I watch it now and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go on first dates. Like it's so cool. I do think they do a really good job of matching people as well. So yeah, I applied. I then got a phone call. I then had an interview. I was then going to go to interview in person, like we planned out my dream guy, like the producers were lovely, I was kind of set to be on the show and then I had to go in for an in-person interview to do like the filming bit and then I was like oh I'm not actually 18 yet but I would be 18 when the filming's going on, they're like oh sorry we can't like, do it yet gonna have to wait till you're 18 and then I became 18 and then I was just so busy with pageants and with life and with YouTube and with my birthday that it kind of just got pushed to the back but they're like oh don't worry just like whenever you're free we can do it blah 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 then I won Galaxy Team England and again like it was just all a bit too busy I was just like mm, a bit too much now and I'm still at that stage. <laughs> I would love to go on first dates. Like, I think it would be the funniest thing ever. I just can't. Like, also, did you know that, um, you know, like, when they pay, you know how it's always, like, the guys offering, the girls, like, oh, no, but yes. Well, that's actually real because you only get covered, like, £25 worth of your meal. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, actually. I hope I don't get sued. Actually, I never signed the contract, so we're all good. But... Like, it's really weird that like, you actually see, like, the, the behind the scenes of first dates. So, no, that's on my bucket list to go on first dates. That would be so funny. Uh, but I wouldn't, like, go on it to, like, find someone. Like, I'd go on it to, like, experience. And also, I want to meet the... What's the hostess or... What's the... What's the name of the person that, like, runs the restaurant? I don't even know. But that just looks like loads of fun. So, I want to do that in my life. This makes me laugh. So, I'll read you the exact message from Amanda. So boy talk. This is obviously relevant to the first dates bit as well. Are you single and looking to mingle? Brilliant phrase there Amanda. And then she goes you must have them lining around the block. We can be best friends. Hmm. Boys. Boys. Hmm. I don't really like boys. Like I won't lie. Boys are smelly. Boys are absolutely smelly. I'm not saying that I'm into girls. I just don't like boys either. Men? Maybe. But I am that person that I feel like I could never be with someone who was the same age as me because like I think I just walk all over them like I'm a very big personality I know that and I know that sounds really bad but like I just talk all the time I have so much to say but I feel like I need to go for me an older boy yeah am I mingling I don't know am I mingling I don't know am I a Pringle mingling maybe who knows let's see where the next couple of months take Personally, I just think that Chloe is my knight in shining armour. Um, yes, Chloe, that's you, my knight in shining armour. Love you. Someone also asked if I had a boyfriend. I do not have a boyfriend. I have friends who are boys, but no boyfriend. I'm not married. That'd be a bit weird. 
this is not an engagement ring. I feel like, do I? I might as well actually go into my relationship life story ish. If they're watching this, that's so cute. Lol. Anyway, so Misha had her first boyfriend. Well, no, her first like proper boyfriend slash year seven boyfriend when she was in year seven, you may have guessed. Um, and yeah, that lasted. I don't even know how long probably like a week but it seemed like forever and then Misha had her actual first proper boyfriend when she was 16 and that was for just over a year and I mean it didn't end pleasantly to say the least. Misha just kind of um kind of fizzled out yeah let's go with fizzled out that's probably the safest term um no cheating nothing like that gosh no it's been over a year since then it's weird I feel like when I first came out of my relationship, I was like, how am I gonna cope with not having that person there? Because you get so used to it. Like genuinely, I thought the world was ending when my relationship was no longer. I, I didn't wanna be in that relationship anymore, but I still was so sad about it. Because obviously you're going to be like, when someone's been a part of your life for over a year, that like you're used to them being there. Even if it's not necessarily in a positive way, you're used to them being there. So then when I came out of it, like I think it took me like two weeks of crying to then be like, get your stuff together Misha, power on. And then I loved being single. Not that I'm not now single, but you know what I mean? Like the difference between, but then I also think that, you know, people are like whenever that they say when they're in a relationship, they want to be single, but when they're in single, they want to be in a relationship. I feel like it's more like if you were single, no, if you're in a relationship and you're with the wrong person, then you want to be single rather than you just want to be single. Do you get what I mean? So I'd like to think that if I was in a relationship, I would want to be in that relationship. I feel that's the thing though, when you have like a first boyfriend, like a first proper relationship, you learn so much through the breakup and I feel like I wouldn't rush into anything now. I wouldn't put my heart on the line, like I'm not, like I'm someone that puts my heart on my sleeve, but not with boys, like at all. Don't lay all my cards out on the table. I am very much reserved. Slash I'm saying this to my camera, filming a YouTube video, so. This boy talk question has gone so skew with, but um, yeah, that's Misha's outlook on boys. They all smell. <laughs> no, there are some good guys out there. Just, you have to find, you have to try really hard to find them. Or let them find you. This is a random question, but what bra size are you? And I actually do get quite a lot of girls messaging me saying like I've given them confidence because I don't care about the fact that I have no boobs. And honestly, that is amazing because I was that person that hated having no boobs when I was younger. Like, I think there was a real stage when I was growing up where all the girls were getting boobs and Misha wasn't getting boobs. So all of the boys didn't like me and they all liked the girls with lumps and the bumps. And Misha was so upset because Misha just wanted a little bit of attention. Misha wanted to be sexy when she was like 15. Misha was not sexy. Misha will never be sexy. Misha isn't a sexy person. Um, and I wanted them so badly. I remember I used to go and take my sister's bras even though I had no boobs and I was like probably like 12. And I remember I went for a stage where I wore massive padded bras and I have nothing against wearing padded bras. Like I will occasionally put one on where I feel like I want to have boobs in an outfit. If I think it looks weird, I'll do it. But 99.9% .9 of the time, I will not even wear a bra. I won't even wear a lace thing. I won't even wear a sports bra. And I honestly don't know what boob size I am. I'm probably like a 32A or like a 32AA. I honestly don't know. I haven't been measured because they probably, I used to, but I thought I had boobs, but I really didn't, but I wished I did. Um, like if I went into a measuring place now, they'd probably just laugh at me and be like, <laughs> I'm not putting a measuring tape around that. That's an embarrassment. <laughs> but I think the joy of it is if I take the mick out of myself, then, like people still try and take the mick out of me but I'm I'm in on the joke like what's the point if I was really self-conscious about them then it would hurt me if people commented that I have no boobs but I'm not like I genuinely don't care and I can wear whatever the hell I want and I don't have to worry about anything sagging because that's basically physically impossible and I've just grown grown to love them but and no matter how many comments I get telling me I need a boob job, it's not going to happen. Do you want to pay? 
I'd still say no. The next one, I actually really love this question. Would you ever get a tattoo? Now, imagine if I was like, plot twist, I've already got like five tattoos. <laughs> I don't, I do not have a tattoo. And I don't think I ever will. Like I'm just, I don't really have anything against tattoos. Like I don't mind them, they're fine. But uh, can you picture me with a tattoo? Like what would I even get? Like I have absolutely no clue. I'd want to get something meaningful, but then I don't know what I'd get. So I don't think I'd bother. Like. I know that I'd be the person to get something and then completely regret it. So I'm just like, no, no, I won't do that. Nah. It'd be quite cool to like, see, but then I don't like pain either. I'm like, it'd be quite cool to see what it felt like, but then I'm like, actually it wouldn't because I don't like to cause pain upon myself. So why would I do that? And I'm really bad with a pain threshold. So yeah. Maybe let me know what you think I should have tattooed on me. Like I can appreciate tattoos on other people. I'm like, yeah, that's a really nice tattoo. But I am always thinking in the back of my mind, what about when you're an old person? Like the guys with sleeves. I'm like, yeah, that looks quite sexy now. What about when you're an old shrinkled man? But then they're like, oh, I'll be a cool old man. I'm like, yeah, but will you be? Will you be? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? So actually a lot of questions are about YouTube and about what I'm doing. And I feel like I've pretty confused a lot of people because I've never, well, I did go into it in my old Q&A, but that was when I was at 5,000 subscribers and what, we're at the 30K mark now. So yeah, that was, 25,000 people ago, which is crazy because it wasn't that long ago. But anyway, so my life currently is social media, quite literally, which people are going to be like, what? She's only got 25, 30,000 subscribers and she's doing YouTube full time. Like, what's going on? But basically, I came out of college and for the first year of college, I did a fashion BTEC. I absolutely loved it. I didn't do A-levels, absolutely loved it. And then the second year, I just fell out of love with it. I just, I don't know. I think I always thought that I was gonna be a fashion stylist. I always thought that I was gonna do that. And then as soon as I started doing it, I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. And I feel like that happens with a lot of people nowadays. So yeah. I was looking at unis and just, I just wasn't, no, it just wasn't the right thing for me. So then I started my YouTube channel in January and then I remember in maybe like April, my mum going, what if you don't go to uni, Misha? Because going to uni was always a thing, like it was a million percent going to happen, like I was going to go to uni. And then she was like, Misha, what if you don't go to uni and you just do YouTube? I genuinely laughed in my mum's face, like I fell on laughed in her face, because it just didn't seem like it was possible, it just, it just seemed like a fairyland, like I was just a girl sat with the camera making videos and a couple hundred people were watching them, that was all it was, um, and then time went on and like brand deals came in and YouTube started growing and then I was like mum you're right, like I'm not gonna do uni, like I am not ready for uni and that was kind of consolidated, I don't know if that's the word but I'll use that word. I went to go and visit my friend Liv who's in Norwich Uni just a couple of weeks ago and like I loved being there but oh my goodness I could not do uni, like no, I'm such a home bird, like you guys will see my relationship with my mum, I'm not saying that she stopped me from going to uni, not in the slightest but I just know that I'm not at the stage in my life where I could cope being away from my family and from life and just like I love the life I have here so I didn't want to move somewhere that I knew I wasn't going to be happy and obviously if I'd gone to uni like I'm sure it would have sorted itself out but um I'm so glad I didn't and yeah now I am quite literally doing YouTube, Instagram, everything like that full time and the reason I can do that is because I still live at home like, I'm still a child at the end of the day, I know I'm 18, but my parents are still looking after me, they still pay for my food, like, they're not taxing me just yet. Um, and my mum said to me, like, Misha, you have three years, the three years that you would have been getting a loan and getting in debt in uni to make a go of this, um, like, actually be a thing. Because, I mean, I'm obviously still very new to YouTube, I do not make enough money off YouTube to survive, like, an adult life, not in a million years. Um, but 
hopefully one day and obviously YouTube isn't the be all end of all of it like for me YouTube is like my stepping stone like I love I love to do videos I absolutely love it I mean I'm sat here at midnight on Tuesday filming like who does that that's just weird but I'm doing it because I just I don't know I am people are like where do you see this going and I'm like I don't I don't really know because I think in this day and age it's impossible to say where you're going to end up because we don't know what's going to change like there are so many new and exciting things going on in the world I mean YouTube is one of them obviously like it's taking over so I'm just kind of like let's see where it leads me mum always says that she can see me as like a TV presenter like the new Gok Wan but um, I wouldn't mind that maybe cheeky bit of uh, look good naked was it? look better how to look good naked that's the one that's the one but anyway i hope that kind of answers the questions about me not going to uni and blah blah blah, blah. and then there was also another question about if i wasn't doing fashion what would i do at uni etc so my dad and all my family always saw me as being misha the doctor i was quite good at biology in um gcse but i didn't love it like, I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. I didn't have the passion for it like I did for fashion and stuff like that. Plot twist when Misha decided not to become a doctor and do fashion. But I still think if I didn't get into fashion, I didn't get into YouTube, I would probably go down the health route rather than be a doctor because like I can't see myself being a surgeon I don't want someone's life in my hands whereas I could see myself being a nutritional therapist and just kind of looking into health as a whole and my nutritional therapist ever is literally a godsend and I would love to be that to other people I'd probably also consider maybe working with children because I am the most maternal person you have ever met. Like, I love children and they seem to quite like me. I don't know if it's because I've got like a big fat smiley face, but like, we have a connection, me and kids. So the final question is actually a really cute one. Now it's about me doing a meetup. Now, I've actually, I'm actually quite proud that a few people have said like, oh my gosh, you should come meet me here, like blah 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 blah, you should do a meetup, blah 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 blah. Now, I mean, I would absolutely love to do a meetup, but I don't feel like I'm like cool enough to do one in the slightest. And I feel like no one would turn up. Like I'm not joking. Like where would I even do it? So, you know, like, should we all pop down to London, have a little meetup, meet for a coffee, coffee and cake slash vegan cake because I can't eat dairy. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me, people, can people actually comment if they'd want me to do a meetup? Because I am a million, million percent would do a meetup. I would love to meet people. Like, I am, um, I don't shut up. So I would absolutely love that. But, um, I don't know, would anyone want to meet me? <laughs> would anyone travel to meet little old me? I don't know. This is my thing with YouTube. I really, I'm kind of stabbing in the dark. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making up as I go along. And I'm just seeing where it leads me because... When I like compare myself to all the people with like hundreds and millions of followers, I'm like, oh, I miss a little dot. But I'll get there. We'll get there, won't we? I've, I've decided also that I feel like people have names for like the people who subscribe to their channel. And mine's going to be like the Grimes Gals because I'm a Grimes and my mum were Grimes. Mama Grimes and so it's the Grimes Gals so like we call ourselves the Grimes Gals so if you follow me you can be a Grimes Gal as well just just put it out there you know don't know what I'm talking about I feel like it's officially 1am my mum is tagging me on things on Facebook because I think I can hear her peeing next door so I should probably wrap this video up it's probably been about 70,000 years long and if you made it this far I'm so incredibly great, 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 grateful and you are hashtag number one Grimes Gal and I love you endlessly. So, um, let me know what other questions you would have for in the future. I think the next one I will do will be a me and Mama Grimes video, which will be in December as a Christmas special. So let me know what you want me and Mum to answer. I'm sorry if I didn't get around to your question, but I talk way too much, so I'm really sorry. But um, I hope you enjoyed, and night, guys. Well, night for me. Who knows what time it is when you're watching this. So, bye. Also. Could you like give this video a like and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because yeah, I'd love you forever. Night night guys. Bye.